fine folks at the Caledonia Fair, I love them. They're the best, a little bit more subdued. So when we were trying to get a response on the best butter tart in town, like these delicious things, we tried to get it out of them. Oh, did we ever try. Oh, we have something exciting happening at the Caledonia Fair this year. It is the... Butter oh, I was gonna say that, ladies. And you just took oh, my, you took my. Okay, okay, Lane. Okay, say it again. You tell everybody. Maybe they didn't hear you. What is it? Butter tarts. No, what? It's the. Oh, raisins. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the contest? Oh, the butter. The battle of the butter tarts. Battle of the butter tarts. There we go. Okay, right. So this is Lynn. Say hello, Lynn. Hi. Okay, this is June. Say hello, June. Hi. Okay. So there's this whole thing between June and Lynn that one of them's raisins and their butter tarts and one is not. Are you raisins? Yes, I'm raisins. You're raisins and, and June. I'm plain. You're plain. So as long as you have a sweetener, an egg, and butter, you can put in anything you, you want. Have you ever gone crazy? What, what's the craziest thing you put in a butter tart, June? A lemon, lemon meringue. They put made a lemon meringue pie on top what? of the butter tart. I had one with bacon. Woo, I like that. Okay, so the, the Ralph and Russell, famous Ralph and Russell. Get on in here, lads, okay? Ralph and Russell, everybody. The, the, crowd, the crowd goes crazy. So they're gonna be our official taste testers. Russell, are you, are you a raisin man or are you a non-raisin man? He's in anything. Yeah. Okay, so that's a raisin. Okay. Ralph, you're taking a raisin. Have a bite of that, lads. Okay. Captivating television right now. Okay, what do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Up? What do you need to, we need to see your thumb. Oh, no, what's your other thumb doing? There we go. Okay, so here we go. Here's the other one. Try that one. That one's non raisin. Okay. This one's non-raisin, Ralph. Okay, try that one too. Okay, which one though, Russell? Of the two? Of the two. This one. Which is it, the raisin or the non-raisin? I think so. <laughs> Ralph, raisin or non-raisin? Which one was it? <laughs> the one on the right, I don't know. <laughs> They're both... <laughs> Can we get some new judges? <laughs> well, let's keep this sweetness going. Honestly, let's put a bow on this great chow down. And I can now deem Hamilton the donut capital of Canada. Heck, maybe even the world. Because we all know the deep history that the donut has in Hamilton. But now, there's fantastic new spots like Cafe Bafico that are putting their own unique, delicious spin on that treat. We are making the donuts. We are frying the donuts. And not just any donuts, these are sourdough donuts. So we have our sourdough donuts here that we're gonna fill. Okay, so let's, fill, let's start filling them. Yeah, so these for are, sure. So these are, what are we filling them with? This so is, this is a vanilla pastry cream that we use for our, our Hamilton cream, so much like a Boston cream. But we use an actual vanilla pastry cream instead of just a custard. So we got our chocolate glaze here, find the right side. We're just gonna dunk that guy in, give it a few shakes, oh, shake, dude. shake, shake, and then a little twist. And there's our donut. Well, I wanna make one though. Yeah, you're gonna go and. Well, I just think like this is like, I don't know, I got kids, these sprinkles are always the ones. I want the one with sprinkles. Just pop it in there. Pop it all in there, push okay. it down a touch. Okay. Pick it up, shake, shake, shake. Shake it upside shake, down. Shake it upside there down. There you go. That. And then into your, uh, and throw it into those uh, sprinkles beside you there. There. Beauty, push down a touch, and out. Onto the rack, just over to your Is left. so light? If you're gonna put an exclamation point on any meal, you might as well do it with a drink like this. Or a spot of tea. We're gonna examine the liquor, which we call the tea. Okay. Kinda of take a look at the color. Next step is we're gonna cup the teacup and do a deep inhale. So this okay. is gonna ignite our olfactory system, so really getting um, our palate to understand what we're about to be tasting. So you probably, mm -hmm. did I've you get some smells? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting the smell of that, of that burnt, that fire. The smokiness, okay. Yeah, the smokiness. So next up is slurp at 130 miles an hour. And don't feel worried about being rude. Really, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this happens. <laughs> Oh, it's tea, so it's hot. <laughs> oh my god. I guess I'm used to it because I have a decent. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm okay. Woo. Oh my All god. Right. Okay, so we'll pretend I didn't almost kill you. Okay, two things. 
I didn't know there was such thing as a tea sommelier, and slurping hot tea, not the best. That's it, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the show. Big thanks to Feeling Estate Winery for having us. Remember, you can email us anytime, rollingwithbolin at cach.com to provide any ideas you might have. Hope you enjoyed me filling my belly and showing off the talents that this region has to offer when it comes to eating and drinking. And never stop yelling. What are you eating today, Tim? Thank you. Enjoy this. One thing that Simon taught me when I started eating his food was how important the rice was. That the rice was pretty much everything. He buys the best rice. He takes a lot of love and care. Um, Is it specific because rice anyone can buy good sushi? Fish. Yeah, so he's buying the super, I can't even, I don't know what the name of it is. It's just the best. So the best what's the, the name best. of the rice? Super premium rice. Super premium rice. <laughs> All right, that's a, <laughs> that's a great name. All right. <laughs> and we, we broke the host. <laughs> <laughs> Super premium rice. <laughs>